All right, so here's a squat analysis of a subscriber. I'm actually on my way to get weighed in, so I figure I'd do this in the meantime. So let's mark the barbell and let's put it on slow motion on this first rep. So you kind of see how the barbell starts to travel forward. So there it is, kind of uh, quite in front of quite in front of himself. I'm gonna zoom in, put a circle there, and then goes up. So let's get blue, that means it's going up. Alright, so going up. And there it is right there. Okay, oops. Uh, how do I didn't do that? Undo, okay. Oops, undo. All right, so so he course corrects, and let's get a line to draw. Let's make it red. So this repetition actually looks a little bit better. You can kind of see how it stays closer to being a vertical movement. So these repetitions actually are a lot better than the second and third repetition. The fourth re repetition gets a little messy here because it's going away from vertical. And it's sort of moving in uh, this sort of angle. So let's go rewind again. So it's sort of doing this. You know, sometimes he gets a little bit closer to the line like that. But overall, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, so keep improving that bar path. Uh, the, let's go clear off here. So let's talk about depth now. So this is the bottom of his squat. And we take a line that is kind of what the angle he's at here. So there's good neutral back, which is the first thing I always look at. It's kind of hard to see everything. You can't really see everything from his angles, but it does look like his feet are flattening. You kind of see right here. It looks like his navicular bone, his uh, inside of his foot is starting to collapse. And just kind of, to me, from over here on this side, it looks like it's actually starting to collapse inwards. But that could just be the camera angle. Uh, but you can tell by the way his shoe is moving, it's sort of doing this. So he's sort of doing this kind of movement. Of course, you're trying to create torque, which is great, but then it's important that you're able to maintain a good, stable uh, foot position. So, let's go see here. So, this is kind of losing a little bit of stability because he's having trouble keeping his heel on the ground because of ankle flexibility. So, he has two options. Let's clear this. Let's play again. So, there's two options to kind of help to get lower. One is to really focus on improving his adductor flexibility so that way he can push his knees out better because that seems to be the biggest thing right now pushing it out uh, knees out position uh, right now his back is straight so I don't want to mess with that so the best thing I'd recommend you do is goblet squats I did a squat series video on how to focus on getting lower on the squat take a look at that video series I'll put a link in the description of kind of how to to basically it's great it gives you the instruction this has been very effective in helping clients get depth it just takes a lot of practice takes a lot of work and you're just gonna have to keep doing it so anyways I guess that's all I have uh, overall I would say even if you just squat like that for a little while I think it's totally okay I probably wouldn't go any heavier than that simply because if you got a heavier weight you might be able to get lower maybe down to you know maybe down to here but the problem is if you get down to here you're going to have to compromise your spinal position. You're going to get some butt winking, which is something you don't want to get in the habit of doing a lot of when you're trying to uh, get good at squats. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you. Uh, thanks for watching.